you could, right? Yeah. yeah. I think Enchanters can compensate for the early game. And once Enchanters buys enough time, you have enough levels and farm. Like, with Enchanters, I think you should be able to... Immediately gonna time walk himself away. As the levels progress, he's really gonna have to be careful. But at bottom lane, we do have Kuro who's gonna be body blocked up oh, by Misery. Puppy's gonna join him. They still have the net ready to go. He's holding off on it. Now controls Kuro. And this could very well be our first blood as Misery stays ahead and snagged that last hit for a first blood. Now mind control comes forward, he won't have that time walk up. And sure enough, Highlight Die leads with a hex, he's gonna be able to jump onto him and control mind control long enough for the kill to go to Eternal Envy. Really well set up by Team Secret. I thought for a second that Eternal Envy had jumped the gun, but... Leading with the pouch makes it so that mind control thinks, oh, there's nobody else here, he's just doing this. Oh man, Misery just runs down that Phoenix. Ow! Did he Level do that three. by himself? He's got the upgraded boots, and uh, unfortunately, the Phoenix is just a little bit too light, late with that Icarus dive. I'm so surprised. Obvious by now. Yeah, they think it's actually going to be bottom, but this mid rotation. That's going to kind of catch Liquid by surprise. Kuro's definitely going to be going down here. The TP is not going to be complete by Matumba Man. Hey, the heals go down. Misery is here. They can actually fight this one for the Kronos here. Comes in first. They need to be able to pop this one. He's got the Ravage. There goes the egg. They're going to try and pop this one. Team Secret can't fight around that Ravage. And the egg would be securing fight. Oh, are they not going to get anything? They're really not, unless, oh, Jarek just gets a bit too close, and Tyler I die pounces on that. out. The Centaur's even going to scout in. He's going to spot out Kuro soon. Oh, they're they already banged him. They know. They've got the stun. Kuro has no hope to be able to get out of this one. They're going to trade for this tier one tower immediately. Call's been made. And they can't even stop. My control is actually in a perfect position to be able to get a Chrono Spear. He's going to lock it down, but it only catches Misery. The A goes down on top. They're going to try and blow Misery before he gets out the Ravage. But he pops the back, turns around with the Ravage, and now here comes the full artillery from Team Secret. The Arthur is going up to take out the Tidehunter, but that means nothing. And Team Secret will sacrifice Misery as long as they can win this fight. But Colonel Levy moves forward, pops the open, starts going from the top of it, barely lives through all this, but he should be able to get the kill in the end. Dominating oh, Misery and Mike control. Control. Out of mana. He's almost out of mana. Time walks his side. Pop He's still going to be able to get that vision though, and Mind Control has little hope to be able to get out of this one. It's either going to hold on to the pounce until Mind Control uses his oh, block, walk him down. That's a why Team Secret win the Roshan fight. And absolutely wipe. This is going to be a free Roshan for them as well. Weeha, who was already really farmed, is going to pick up the Aegis for himself. Eternal Envy already up to 3,200 gold. He's going to CP out at this point. And he will be, be able to do so. Oh no, the heck! Twilight die on point at the last half second. Nothing is going right for Team Liquid at this point. My control can't even farm. Even with three heroes there, oh, and he's going to run into spear. misery. The time walks up in one more second. He's going to jump over to the left hand side, but then Pettis Shot follows him. They're going to be able to get enough vision for Puppy to get one more shot. And that's going to be a killing spree already on Puppy. 18. They're being so efficient on the map. I know uh, the panel mentioned it yesterday, but... Oh, that is going to be enough. The Reaper Sight. It doesn't actually hit Highlight Die and deal enough. Zone. Puppy's going to be leading the charge here. Seeing if Liquid will take the bait and fight him at all. This is how unkillable Puppy is. He's just running forward, ice armored. He knows he's dead. He's caught inside the trees, throws out the paralyzing cast towards the tail end, but that is the end. Team Secret can now actually... Yeah. They're just going to go continue to farm. Secret inherently both their cores. Matumba Man really shows himself fighters. in the mid lane and immediately starts backing up. And he should too. Eternal Envy is going to cut in from the I side. Like the They're going to be able to get the stun. But Tumba Man needs some help. The sun ray. They will be able to turn this one around a little bit. Misery pops the ravage now. Seeing how low Tumba Man is. They definitely want the kill. They'll get it too. The supernova with the chronosphere over the top. Maybe this is finally Team Liquid's time to be able to get some kills. But they just can't seem to do enough damage. Once again, Weha provides the save with the OD. Ultimate being dropped on the liquid. They're completely out of mana now. They're still going to try and turn and fight. Weha with 3% being dropped. Weha saves Misery life. But he ends up committing his own. The Slark scaling up, up, up. Witch Doctor can absolutely do nothing against him with a thousand gold. As Pearl's just gonna get gone on, look how quickly he pops him. Nobody from Liquid can do anything to help out. Go tie at bottom. So at top, Liquid, they're not 100% sure where everybody is. And they're being hemmed into their base. They don't have the tier 2 at top. The Ward sees them. They're actually gonna try and fight this one, but OD, he's already managed to get off the imprisonment onto himself. Team Liquid managed to fight it out, but coming in from behind, they've already taken out the Invoker. They're going to pop the Supernova as well as the Chronosphere, but they just simply have no damage now. Here 
here comes the death ward, and they'll finally be able to kill Weeha, but Team Liquid need to be able to get out, and Secret are coming in from behind. They've already taken out two. They're going to try and chase down Mind Control as well, while Jarek's quick to get out of the trees he's sitting. The Phoenix Egg uh, plus Chrono Combo that they've been playing around, and it looks like they're making their way over, but it's just too late. They just got to turn right back around. Yeah. <laughs> Near possible. Yeah, Liquid want to get something out of this. Ooh, Puppy's going to be the control. target. He just goes for the solo Chronosphere. This is so dangerous. They have the Sunray. They're going to follow up with the cast. Maybe even drop the Death Ward for this one. Puppy is going to be saved by Weeha. But he's going to be running back in. Oh, there goes the combination from Misery and Weeha. They're falling up Liquid left and right. Three down and Kuro. He realizes there's no escape here. My Control also trying to time watch himself. Hiding in the trees. Ooh, two more seconds. Gonna be saved by the imprisonment for now, but they should be able to run him down no matter what. The pounce is gonna miss, but still they've got him with the blink dagger on Weeha. Kuro's not gonna stay ahead of misery either. This is eventually going to be a wipe as Team Secret are now well positioned to push out that bottom lane and think about pressuring high ground. Secret have absolutely so this mid tower looks like it is gonna fall. Liquid don't have the chronos here available. And I don't really even know how they set up a fight right now. With the Aegis still on Envy for another two minutes, they've got to be careful. This guy hits hard. He's got 3,200 gold to back him up. Paralyzing cast. They're actually going to try and go for Puppy here. Sunstrike is going to land. Nice setup there from Vada. And Team C. And yeah, Turtle Envy's not going to show too much fear. He turns around, dares Mind Control to fight him. He's got to be careful. It's by far the easiest hero to kill or Eternal Envy. He's gonna get stunned up by the cast, but he sees Kuro. Maybe he wants to make himself a target since he already blew that death ward. Eternal Envy is going to apply, so they're gonna be able to double team Kuro as fast as possible. Malajin goes down his last nine. Gordon on the right hand side. They're gonna try and fall off Weehan. They're successful too. They've got the Reaper Scythe. The Phoenix the Egg is gonna be able to explode as well. Team Secret are gonna be caught here. They thought they could turn. They thought that they could fight, but they're gonna lose some major heroes here as Misery's just eventually gonna be chased down. He's a tanky beast, but there's just no escape for him. Oh, with the Sunway drop to four heroes down and Team Liquid, that is the... So they're trying to chip down this tier two tower. Misery's ready to go. He's gonna wait. Waiting on the Ravage, he's gonna throw down now. We'll be able to catch up four. That's gonna be a beautiful figure that that pops the couple man as well. Now they've got the, uh, oh no, that's gonna be an A combination with the Chrono Spear that only really catches two. Kurt's gonna let out the Death Force. There's just not enough damage here. OD drops the ultimate. Jarrus comes back to the egg, but his teammates are all gone. My Control's gonna try and get himself out with the Time Walk TP away. Should be successful there as, oh, Pilot Eye. Oh, so close. Puppy absolutely obliterated that BKB invoker. He just came from behind, prances and says, one hit, two hit, three hit, you're dead. This is not a fight that they can take anymore, especially without the Phoenix deck available. Eternal Envy still has some of the stacks left over from that top fight. Making quick work for Rax. 36 minutes in, our first lane of Rax is going to go down for Team Liquid. It's a, almost a 20,000 net worth lead. Yeah, and you've got for a Hex secrets. now completed on the OD. The BKB from the Invoker is uh, I'm not really sure. Team Secret, they they know this. Oh, Eternal Envy's on the ramp here. Pounce up in three more seconds. He's gonna pop his ultimate. They actually hit the Chronosphere, but here are up goes. They have all this extra damage over the top. The Sunstrike gets laid down, but Misery hits the counter initiation for the five up the top. We have blowing up here. He's gonna be able to take out two. And again, Liquid time after time, the initiate. But mechanically, this is about as good as you want to see Envy play if you're a Secret fan. He hasn't made any unnecessary risks. He's min-maxed this game perfectly. In between this and the next fight, it's not going to be a lot of time for them as Mind Control should start backing up already. In. He's going to be able to control Derek to make sure there's going to be no Supernova. The tornado is just a bit too late to intercept. And now Team Secret. They know this is their opportunity to end this game. Five more seconds till the Necrophos is back up. Clearly, he's not going to buy back, so they should have a free lane of racks. The question is, is Team Secret actually going to stick around? They don't have their Ravage, but they have a huge net worth lead that may be enough confidence for them to be able to take this fight. Mind Control, Time Walks to the side. He's going to be able to get the Chronos here this time around. On Eternal Heavy, the Death War gets laid out, but they definitely need the Reaper Scythe. But Eternal Heavy still has that Aegis, so it doesn't even matter. Eternal Heavy now pops the open, turns on a Chronos, starts stealing all those num num stats. He's going to be able to just go through support after support. He's beyond godlike, and they can't even kill him once. But Tumble Man, he comes back in. But the imprisonment is going to stall things up. The Tornado controlling some of the heroes in the background. Puppy 
with that long range artillery is actually keeping Liquid from being able to be aggressive. They're gonna start jumping forward, but Misery, Misery, right hand again with counter initiation of the Anchor Smash. He's gonna be able to stop all the damage. Reaper Sight goes out. They will be able to kill Weeha, but still they have to worry about the Thwart. His wife number two is back up, and Eternal Levy still feeling pretty healthy. He's fighting this one out. Because the Pouncy wants to be able to get out here. The Pouncy was blocked up, but Tumba Man comes forward. Looks like the Sunray's gonna be able to take off Highlight Die. They Eternal really Levy, need to kill Get into the tree. Hides himself for a second, but Mana, he's a Bloodhound locking down Eternal Levy. They will be able to find him. Team Liquid, they win a fight, but is it too late? The base with this one. They might even get the high ground advantage. Bada. Uh oh, he just knocked this one out. He's gonna immediately pop in DKB. Now the Chrono Gear turn around, but they need to roll up. They have the main ball. That's a 5 he won. They've got the Sun Strike on Misery. They're trying to pop up the Reaper Sight. No, it's not gonna finish Bob. Oh, this egg explodes between Seeker. They're still looking healthy. And now the turn around comes in. Grab his blade down. They're able to take out already two. And Liquid, they just fall apart after that. They have no buybacks. That was the best possible chronosphere they could have had but it just goes to show the team secret are just too big to fight up against they're going to be able to get fought here after the imprisonment there's no way the sunray can save them and team secret will beat down the buildings in preparation of taking game number one such a superior game by them they have played liquid every step of the way Bada starts dropping meatballs, but he's got nothing. He turns around, goes on to Misery, but he's already dying to Puppy alone. The fourth position is destroying Bada's invoker at the highest net worth of Team Liquid for so long. Misery finally goes down, but the throne explodes, and Team Secret take game one in this grand final. What a dominant showing for them, too. We said that Liquid and Secret both got the type of lineups that they wanted. Secret end up on top. Psychologically alone, that's going to afford them so many advantages going in. Absolutely. Team Liquid, they're probably going to be pretty shook up after that one. as They've had a long, hard road, but to go into the Grand Finals and face up against such a dominant secret in game.